MT and peers, what is up? Net and Fancy getting back to you uh, on the results of my February 2010 TNP giveaway. I'm going to get to the names here in just a second. Here's a couple ground rules. Um, if we announce your name, you got to get back to us. Okay, uh, probably within about five days or so, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, from some other giveaways I did last year, I think one or two people never got back to me. I don't know why. And it just kind of makes things complicated, uh, even more so now that I have the manufacturers involved and they're kind of waiting to hear from me. Well, who win who's winning? You know, we want to ship this out. So uh, to not keep them waiting too long, don't keep us waiting too long. Get back to us. Give us your name, your address, email, phone number, all the contact information so we can forward it to the manufacturer. They can get you the goods. Dig? Awesome. And dudes, there's, uh, we just broke 60,000 TMPers. Thank you very much. Again, very humbled by that. Never take it for granted. But with so many dudes out there interested in what I'm interested in, guns, knives, tactical gear, survival supplies, first aid supplies, all the things that help us build self-reliance and uh, preparedness in our personal lives and also fun stuff, you know, going out and shooting is fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of you guys, so I can't really give back a meaningful number um, to a meaningful meaningful amount of the TMP audience. Sorry, it's just impossible at this stage of TMP. You guys know that. So the guys that won are lucky. I know that. They're lucky. Congrats. Big congrats. Enough of that. I'm going to roll in some philosophy, talk a little bit about the company the companies participating as I go along. And let's start off with U.S. Calvary. Website is uscav.com. Uh, nothing fancy. Why weren't you ever talking about US Cav before? Honestly, they just kind of dropped off my radar screen. You know, I've used other suppliers in the past. Sorry, I have. Uh, I've talked about them. Uh, actually, I have ordered from US Cav in the past. I always had good experience with them. I don't know. I just didn't think about it. But what has changed that is that US Cav are TMPers. At least Brian Howell is their YouTube representative. Uh, and he represents a company, at least with new media, which YouTube is new media. Uh, wow, big TMP fan, and I think it's genuine. It's not feigned like some companies do. They act like they are TMP fans when they're really not, or they just don't know about it. Uh, genuine, and that shows in how quickly he threw his support behind TMP. I mean, without question. You saw him in the video. I posted a whole separate video showing our conversation. Uh, he goes, yeah, man, I'll, I'll hook your TMPers up. Right now, and this is for everybody, 15% across the board discount from uscav.com. Thanks to Brian Howell. Your code for that, CAVTMP. C-A-V-T-M-P. You'll see it in annotation. Excellent. So that's cool. Uh, and, you know, guys say, oh, let's work more. Ah, 15%. That's decent. That's a decent uh, discount. Remember, we want these companies to stay in business. We want them to stay financially viable. I don't mind supporting them. Okay? Awesome. Gets better, though. Uh, Brian also threw to the Nut and Fancy Project a $100 gift certificate right out the gate. I mean, no convincing necessary. Hey, yeah, dude, $100. I'm in. Who, won who wins that? This dude. Bad Hat 715. Bad Hat 715. Big thanks to Verilinus, by the way. She helps me uh, choose the winners. We verify the channel page, make sure they are TMP followers because that's who this giveaway is for. I said that in the first video. We're rewarding people who have built TMP up to where it is. Um, and that's, and oh, by the way, the TMP -er and the customers slash consumers for all these companies are generally the same people. Okay, motivated individuals that are willing to spend their money on high value, high durability gear that fulfills good POUs. US Cavs got lots of that. Just look, they have a ton, a ton of merchandise. I spent some time on the website going, oh dude, they got that. Like uh, Condor tactical gear, their uh, fleece jackets and stuff, which I think are awesome, by the way. They got it. And I was like, awesome. Those are hard to find, by the way. At least uh, around where I'm living. Bad Hat 715, congrats. $100 gift certificate, US Cav. Uh, and get back to uh, Verilinus with that information if you can, please. Appreciate it. Benchmade, five fifty percent off coupons. Benchmade uh, is a company that does not have to be convinced. Uh, one, about the importance of new media. In other words, uh, how important it is. I mean, it's not TV, not radio, not magazine, not newspaper, all those old-fashioned stuff. I kind of talked about that in the first video. Uh, new media is important, and more importantly, if you take the Nut and Fancy project, it is very directed. 
and it is consumer based. And that's what's so strange about TMP and it really blows people's minds. They have a hard time comprehending that, that it's not manufacturer based. Well, you're saying a lot of positive things about this gear item and you know that's really cool. Uh, why do you do it? Well, because I'm a consumer advocate. This is a good gear item, it's high value. Uh, it's well made, it's cool, it's fun to collect. It's consumer based. I'm a consumer, just like you. I'm a consumer advocate. I'm trying to get you the best deals I can, get you the best gear and steer you towards the stuff that I personally like um, and think that's cool based on my experience. Um, Benchmade gets that. They follow TMP, they know about the videos, they've watched all of them on the Benchmade products at least. They need no convincing and that's been that way for a while and all they needed was a quick phone call. Hey, you want to be in? You know, midway through the sentence, yeah, we're in. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> they're just like, I don't, I don't know. You know, I didn't want to overset my bounds. And they're like, how about 550% off coupons? I was like, that's cool because I can give more guys something, you know. Here they are. First up, uh, Fat Daddy for Fun. You win one. That's a funny screen name. I love that. Fat Daddy for Fun. 50% off at the Benchmade.com website. Next up, Firefox 121. Firefox 121, you get one. <clears throat> chosen at random and then verified that you're a TMP follower. The Vista viewer, the Vista viewer, you win one. Congrats, dude. Uh, Red Mule 02, Red Mule 02, 50% off coupon. And you know, some guys say, well, ah, it's retail on their website. Yeah, I know, but 50% off that, pretty good deal. Uh, especially since you go to the Benchmade website, you know they kind of have it. Whereas if you go to some stores, um, they don't have the Benchmade knife you want. Benchmade, awesome products. I remain a huge fan. Mm, watch my reviews. I said as much. Next up, big supporter in the Nut and Fancy Project. Probably one of the first corporate sponsors. Not really a sponsor because we don't accept advertising per se in that vein. Um, but they support me and they support what I'm doing here. And as such, support you, my viewers. Yourcornerstore.com. Michael Cassidy. Thank you very much. He's participated in several giveaways already. This is another one. This is biggest throw-in yet. And remember, he's not a huge corporate entity. He's an individual trying to make ends meet with a little knife and gear store he has there in New Hampshire. So $100 gift certificate. Awesome. Who wins that? A dude named Cloud Invader. It's a funny name. Cloud Invader. Congrats, dude. $100 gift certificate. YCS.com. Excellent. Tapco stock system for 1022 heavy barrel. Verilinus confirmed this guy does have a 1022, so he could put it to use. It wouldn't make much sense if he didn't, or he wasn't going to get one. Cessna Captain. Cessna Captain, congratulations. You win that Tapco, Tapco uh, 1022 stock system. By the way, that's a great stock. I love it. I, I remain a fan of things Tapco. Uh, excellent stuff. High value stuff doesn't break the bank. No, I'm not just saying that because they're participating. I don't care. Participate, don't participate. I'm still going to say what I'm going to say about the gear. Um, excellent, you know. Uh, you know, is that the best stock system for an AK variant rifle? Uh, I need to test that, you know, because that's more of a harder use tactical rifle. Uh, I need to see if it's durable enough. Uh, you know, there's some critics out there, I think, against the system. But I will tell you, for SKS, uh, not SKS, but a 1022. Excellent. Big fan. Um, thanks, uh, Tapco, for throwing that in. And that was a fun booth review, too. Loved it. Next up, another big fan of these guys. You should know that now. Arsenal. Yeah, baby. Dude, that SGL21 just rocked in uh, breaking contact. Seriously, it just rocked. I'm going to be shooting it some more. I don't like being real specific on what's coming up in the Nut and Fancy Project. A lot of guys go, hey, dude, what's your next uh, five reviews? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> guys guys are blown away when I say that. They're like, what? You don't have them all planned out? I'm like, no, I don't have them all planned out. I don't want to plan them all out. It, to me, that's too structured. Uh, you know, my careers are structured. Everything is structured in my life. I don't want to roll that into TMP. I want to be unstructured and creative and off the wall. You know, I've got, I don't know, I could do 100 gear reviews. I just pick and choose. Like, oh, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. But I will say this. More AK shooting coming up in TMP, dude. More AK shooting. Why is that? Because I'm digging AKs. And that's what makes the project fun and genuine and passionate. It's stuff that I'm excited about 
and I can, like I've said in many reviews, I can speak extemporaneously uh, about stuff I'm excited about that I like. That's what you saw at Shot Show. You know, I go into these booths. I already know their product line, sometimes better than they know it. Uh, <laughs> and I just start talking because I know the stuff and it's good stuff. You know, you put a knife, a gun in front of me that I just don't dig. Gift of gab goes bye bye. I just, you know, I just don't have a lot to say. You know, and oftentimes, if like in shot in my shot show booth reviews, if the guy's talking about an item and I'm not saying a lot, I may not dig it that much, <laughs> and that's okay. You know, I don't have to dig everything. And there's a lot of great TM peers that you know we don't see eye to eye on gear. There's no way that's going to happen. I understand that. That's normal. Uh, but Arsenal, man, uh, I don't know what happened, man. It just clicked for me been around AKs for decades. Take me to that Arsenal booth, dude. Freaking digging it. Digging that stuff. Shooting it's even better. Okay, anyways, enough blabbering about that. And they're rolling in big on this giveaway, dudes. Arsenal is rolling in big. Um, for their level of company, Walker English stepped up. 40 round Bulgarian mag goes to Bitter Clinger 70. Bitter Clinger 70, congratulations. That's kind of a long mag. It needs a different carry system. I'm not sure how you're going to integrate it. But it looks cool. And those Bulgarian mags, a circle 10 polymer waffle, pa waffle pattern. Excuse me. They're awesome. Those are the best mag, in my opinion, for AKs. Uh, because they're not too heavy. Those steel mags are almost 12 ounces. Empty. Very durable, but he heavy. Two 30-round Bulgarian mags from Arsenal. Winners are... Dramatic pause. Rebel Little Zero. Congratulations, dude. Rebel Little Zero. Next up is One Gun Crazy One. One Gun Crazy One. He wins the other one. Lots of AK guys rolled in on Vera Alliance's page expressing interest to be considered for this contest on the AK stuff. That's cool. A lot of work for us, though, because we got to go... <laughs> through the comments and then Verilinesis chooses, you know, at random those guys and then she verifies those guys are, uh, you know, TMP followers and they have the AK, all that. She put a lot of work in that. Thanks, Verilinesis. Appreciate it. Three U.S. made two-stage triggers from Arsenal. Three winners. Here we go. Number one, Hell Horse 01. Hell Horse 01. Awesome tmp -er, by the way, that guy. Congrats, dude. I wish I had more. I wish I had an SGL I could give you. That'd be wicked cool. X, X, I'm laughing because I don't even know how to say this name. X, S, X, X, C, X, Flyer. There we go. X, C, X, Flyer. I had to like retake this video too. I, I was like right in the middle of the video. This is like take four. But I got to uh, Fat Daddy for Fun's screen name and I just started laughing, man. I cannot finish the video. And I went down, I was laughing some more and I got some of these other screen names. Uh, it was just ridiculous. I'm getting through it now though. X, here I go again. XCX Flyer, dude. Congrats. Next winner of a trigger system, Caracalla 1963. Caracalla 1963. <clears throat> Another winner of that trigger set. I'm pretty impressed with that Arsenal trigger. I will say that. I've shot the G2 by Tapco. That's another excellent, super high value trigger. I wish I would have mentioned that in the Tapco booth review. Uh, I know some guy, oh, actually, I don't know that. I was going to say some guys may not dig it. I like it, though. That's a light trigger. But. Having shot the Arsenal trigger, uh, I got no plans at this point to replace it. At least not on the SGL 21. Excellent. I mean, it's nice. I liked it. Uh, next up, five elevation tools from Arsenal. I'm going to throw all these screen names up at the same time. I'm going to go through them fast. Sea West Wood, Mole Man Lives Again, Army 88, I'm sorry, Army Triple 8, Awesome Team Pier, Lando Commando 8. Moses 2781, winners of the Elevation Tool. I love that Elevation Tool, too. It's high quality. Yeah, I know there's other options out there, but just like everything Arsenal does, top-notch, dude. Top-notch. That's a $30 Elevation Tool. You get something. <coughs> also, Spyderco. Man, I had a good time in the booth review. Ed Shimp uh, talking to Sal Glesser. It was a privilege, and we just had a great booth review. They're good people at Spyderco. Another company that is so squared away on the, the quality and the value aspect of their products, that's Spyderco. I say as much in my, my uh, gear reviews of their products. You know that. I mean, a huge Spyderco fan I am. 
Um, and no, it doesn't lessen my love for the other blades. There's lots of blade manufacturers and multi-tool manufacturers I absolutely love. And that's what I want to promote. I have ever since I started the Nut and Fancy Project. Just because you like one manufacturer doesn't mean that um, you know your love for, love for the other one has to be lessened. And I think guys are getting that. Spider Co. did not take any uh, you know, convincing or arm twisting to be part of TMP. They are another company that gets the importance of new media and they are willing to show their appreciation to you, the very loyal Spider Co. fan that watches the Net and Fancy Project. They asked, they said, hey, what knife do you want to give away? I was like, well, I don't know. Fair line, just go through the comments, see if guys are saying anything. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, they're not really saying much. Okay, I'll choose it. <laughs> And then I started thinking, I was like, you know, I don't want to go too big. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go big. Let's go big. I mean, honestly, when I, and I'm not talking about spider I'm talking about in general. When I roll in and do a booth review and SHOT Show, uh, remember, this is consumer level. Okay, this is my job as a consumer advocate. I'm not working for the manufacturers. It's by way of consequence they benefit from this. Um, but when I do a booth review, you're talking, I don't know, that's a lot of exposure. Uh, you can't buy exposure like that. You cannot put a price tag on that because it's genuine. It's born out of uh, genuine interest and uh, a love for their product, representing thousands and thousands of people like you. So, you know, I was thinking with that in mind, let's go big with a knife. <laughs> you know, it's really chump change. I mean, even if every manufacturer of this level said, hey, you know what, here's $500, five, five, uh, $100 gift certificates. It's chump change for the amount of exposure they get. It really is. And again, my motivation isn't to give them motive, uh, exposure and hoping to get something in return. I don't care. Uh, you know, it, what I'm trying to do is review the gear and keep it real. Good product information. You know, and I guess you know if I can get something for you guys out of that deal, um, and you're their loyal consumers anyhow. Let's do it. So I'll work that angle for you. You saw me doing it at the SHOT Show, man. I was every, every two seconds, I was like, hey, man, can you give my guys a discount? <laughs> I'll continue to do that. Spider Co., though. Big TMP, guys. They watched the videos. Thank you very much. I'm humbled by it. And they said, what knife? I said, how about a warrior? Like, wicked warrior we saw in the booth review. That's a cool knife. And they're like, hey, we totally do that, but we ain't got none to give away. Understood. So I gave them a list, and down the list we went. Guess which one I chose next? Any ideas? Temperance 2. Oh, surprise you, huh? Temperance 2. It's a $180 knife. That's a good knife. That's a cool knife. And honestly, Sal Glesser explaining the pricing strategy on that and uh, how, you know, go watch that SHOT Show booth review and he explains it. It answered a lot of questions I personally had for the Temperance 2 and how they priced that knife the way they did. And it remains an outstanding knife. The winner of that Temperance 2 from Spider Co. shipped directly from them is Hunter Ringo. <laughs> That's a funny name. Hunter Ringo. It's spelled with a Y. You see it up there. Congratulations. You win that wicked cool knife. Awesome. Had some others listed, but I was like, let's go big. Let's go with the expensive. I mean, I want to get ridiculous, like, the, you know, something way out there, but that was reasonable. Uh, oh, by the way, there's a part two to this giveaway. If you didn't win, you might have a chance now because here comes some more giveaways right now. You're going to have about a week. Uh, and I don't think you have to sign up for these. We'll just choose them at random again and verify your TMP fan. Establish channel page. We don't like uh, new counts, sorry, because guys are closing opening counts, you know. Not good. Blackhawk rolls in the Nut and Fancy project with a giveaway. Uh, kind of wish it was bigger, but it's better than nothing. $50 gift certificate, $100 gift certificate. From Terry Naughton, I did the booth review with him. That was a fun booth review, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I dug it. Uh, appreciate it. Terry does ask, and I gotta throw this in. He's like, hey, listen, can, if you guys go to my website and sign up for the Black Hawk email alerts for the deals, that would really be cool. And so I'll ask you if you feel so inclined, go ahead and do that. Definitely is not a, you know, by any, definitely for me, not a requirement at all. Um, but eh, I told him I'd mention it. Take your pick on that. I did do that myself, by the way, and they do have some pretty smoking deals and clearance stuff that comes direct from Blackhawk. Uh, for instance, I think a couple years ago, I signed up for that email and I got one of those chest rigs, you know, the ones I showed you in the opening, 
uh, just uh, AR-15 variety for like 25 bucks, something insane like that. So it's worth it. Pretty cool. Thanks to Blackhawk for that though. Um, they'll issue that gift certificate direct from them to you. We'll does we will designate the winners of who they are from motivated tactical guys in the Nothing Fancy project. Next up, another fun booth review. Four Sevens. Dot com. Excellent flashlight um, suppliers, and more importantly, on the cutting edge of flashlight design. No, I'm not just saying that because they're throwing in a light. Uh, I don't really care about that. They really, I mean, I do care about it, don't get me wrong. I think it's cool, but that's not my motivation for saying what I'm saying about their products. They make awesome lights. They're doing stuff at, at Four Sevens. I showed you in the booth review that is on the cusp of lighting technology. Their Quark series of lights um, are actually beating Phoenix and the other lights at their own game. Uh, super quality, the beam patterns are amazing. They're on the cutting edge of LED technology. They're doing the best to maximize burn times. Remember my lighting technologies video, I told you this was gonna happen, that this uh, revolution in lighting was gonna continue. The lighting products were gonna get better and better. Bur burn times, throws, and all that. All the stuff that David Chow and myself uh, talked about at the 4.7's booth review at SHOT. It's cool. It's really cool. And they make some awesome lights. They're, and they asked me, like, well, what light do you want to give away? And I thought about it. I was like, well, you know, I could have gone with the really high-end ones, but I didn't want to. Well, for 4.7's, they're a small operation. I just said, oh, let me go something mid-range. Plus, those higher-end ones generally aren't available. I said, let's go with a Quark 123 Turbo. There you go. That's a great light. You saw the throw of it in the SHOT Show video. Um, excellent. Could serve as a weapon light on a low recoiling gun. Not sure if it's battery has battery isolation for a high recoil like shotgun or 50 or something. I don't know like that. Um, but for a low recoil gun, it'd be awesome. Quark 123 Turbo. Um, we'll designate a winner in about a week on that. Next up, also a supporter of the Nut and Fancy Project. I love their products um, because they are high value and they work. You've seen me wear them a lot. And that's TAC Force. That's TAC Force.com, Tactical Nylon. Love their cross draw vest. I think it stacks up against any cross draw vest you want to throw up against it in terms of durability and features. And again, a cross draw vest is a cross draw vest, generally speaking, with some exceptions. There's ways to attach that holster that really jacks it up, as I've talked about. They're going to throw in two of those cross draw vests to the Nut and Fancy audience. Outstanding. Thank you very much, TAC Force. Oh, and don't forget, you can get free shipping direct from their website. Again, TAC Force.com by typing in the words are the word, nothing fancy, free shipping. Cool. Incidentally, I don't want to give more specifics because I don't want to give more headaches, but I, I, I did a tweet on my Twitter account of what I thought was an awesome smoking deal on one of their tactical vests, and I screwed up. I read the wrong price. It was like the amount you saved, and I thought that was the price of the vest, the WebTAC vest. And I was just like, dude, I'm sorry. I talked to Mike at Tac Force. He's like, yeah, man, we had a bunch of guys call us. Not a bunch, a few guys call us and order that. And they say, oh, that's not the price. That's how much you save. I said, it's like 36 bucks. And uh, Tac Force honored the price. How cool is that? The guys that ordered it are like, yeah, you know, we understand it's a mistake. We'll honor that price. And they sold it to my TMPers that ordered it for that. Please don't go order it for that price because it was my mistake. Cool for Tac Force doing that. Uh, I wish I had a couple more to give you, and honestly, there's a couple that I'm a little disappointed that didn't come forward. I mean, I email them, never heard back. Uh, maybe I will, um, but it'd be nice if I heard from them. Some of them I've done booth reviews with, like LaRue Tactical. Great guys. I love LaRue. Great products, um, and I'd love to give away some of their LaRue stuff, but maybe I'll hear from them and some others that I'm waiting to hear from. But everyone I just talked about, I mean, they're on board, man. They're just like, yeah, we want to be part of it. So thank you very much to my manufacturers. It's fun doing this uh, 2011 SHOT Show if I do it. Let's do it again. We'll just do another giveaway. And, you know, when I roll into a booth review, I'm going to just throw that on the table. Uh, no, I'm not looking for anything, but I am looking for stuff for my, my subscribers, you know. However I can get you good deals, get you discounts, get you good gear, that's my job. I, I dig that. It's fun. Um, that's what I want to do is get you guys stuff and that might be part of the booth review next year when I go to 2011 shot. Uh, all right, dudes, that's enough. I've talked long enough. So yeah, there's a part two of the video. Um, it'll be made in about a week and we'll announce the other winners here. Nut and Fancy and thanks again to my sister Vera Linus, secretary in the Nut and Fancy project. Woo, lots going on, lots going on. Man, there's some fun stuff coming up.
You'll see. You'll see, man. You'll see it come in your email, man. You'll see some vids. You'll dig. Thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. I really, really do. Um, I mean, if I didn't get the feedback that I get on my channel page with the views, the ratings, all that stuff, uh, you know, I'd just wrap it up. Just go do something else. Uh, but uh, you guys spur me on to more, and it's fun. It's adventurous, and it just keeps going, man. It keeps going. Thanks so much. That fancy. See you.